Hey, so here is the showcase of this little advanced vertex painting shader. So basically, when you're here, you can see the difference between uh, the two of them. Here is a normal height lerp vertex painting shader. Uh, and if we look at mine, you have the difference. So basically what is in this shader is uh, some parallax here, some um, added normal on the plaster or whatever material you have, you can uh, manage that in the instance that we have here. If we go there, you can see that we have uh, the possibility to straighten that normal or to lower it to be um, uh, mostly invisible here. You don't have it and there you have it. So you also have a shading through the mask that adds details through the transition between those materials. Here you can see you have a little shading here compared to what we have there. Absolutely no shading on the transition. So uh, it adds realism, realism, sorry, even though it's uh, stylized. So let's take a look at the material. Here we have some parameters. Um, most of them are really easy to master. Here you have, uh, as uh, seen before, the normal flatness of the material under uh, the one you have on top. And here are the control parameters for the mask. So basically here you have the possibility to add contrast to the mask or to soften it. As you can see here, you can see the difference right there compared to what we uh, have here. You have also a mask exponent, which is growing the mask or reducing it like so. Um, a power shadow mask, which is exactly the shadow that you can see here. Basically, it's just straightening the, sh the shading or lowering it here. Uh, the mask has a noise added to uh, the vertex paint that you did to add details and you can control the timing of that noise here. So you can see you add details. Uh, if you're working in realism, something around 10 or 15 is a good value. But even though it's stylized, I want to add the little details. So that's why we have a lower value here. The transition shadow contrast is if you're growing it like so with the power here, you can add contrast to that to straighten it and sharpening it. If you have um, my materials, for example, here you have the texture controls, which are the tiling of what you have under. Everything is connected. So as you can see, the parallax is changing and the normal on top is changing also. Um, here is the um, control of the parallax here. As you can see, parallax is working with um, a step here. If we go uh, like so, for example, here, sorry, we can see the steps right there. If I'm increasing that number here, it will get smoother. Of course, it comes with um, performance uh, problems. So 16 a good, is a good value because here we see the problem, but it front like so. It's just looking really great. You have also the height ratio here to add some depths, but um, going up in that value means that you need to add a lot of steps right here to make it work. You can, of course, disable the parallax here. Of course, we have exactly the same parameters for the plaster and for the brick. So here you can disable it for both of them to have something uh, flat, actually working only with normals. And even though the parallax is disabled, as you can see, it's working pretty well. You can change all your textures here, directly here. Um, if you want the parallax to work and the height loop to work, you absolutely need to have the height um, of your uh, materials here. I have the main mat high and the earned mat height, which are for me plaster and brick. Uh, it works with pack map, so don't uh, go for uh, roughness metallic and um, I'm going to collision solo maps. You need to pack them. You have the templates in designer or in painter, so it's easier to export. So now let's take a look at the uh, master material that is uh, creating this. So basically what we have is a vertex color node, which is um, 
creating the mask, of course, taking into account the mask that you've done into uh, the very explaining option. It is outloping it with the um, with the texture that we have for our under map uh, to have something that is working great. On top of that height lerp, we have, of course, a noise, as I said, that is multiplying on top of it. But since you lost some values, you need to multiply it. I've put a value of four, but this creates something um, that works only if you clamping it or saturating it. Why? Because Unreal is not um, working with values um, higher than one and lower than zero for mask. It will just create problems. So you need to get rid of those values by clamping it or saturating it. Basically what it is doing right after that, it is alpha offsetting your mask. So you have um, a range that you can work on and you can control that range by contrasting it, um, contrasting your mask. So here it is the main mask used to lerp between um, your textures here and the textures of the under mat that are there. But to add that shading here, what I've done is basically just um, darkening the texture that I have for my main mat there and um, use that, that darkened texture with another mask. It is just basically um, your uh, first mask that we created there, uh, subtracted with how you controlled uh, with how you controlled the alpha here. If I put this directly into base color, so you can see what we have, it is basically, as you can see, just those values there right here. It is what is uh, between the under mask and uh, the vertex painting that you painted. Then, of course. Um, that mask, we need to control it because as you can see, it is full of problems. So with a power and a contrast, you can use that mask for um, the shading effect that we have there. Uh, I added also the option to have it for the ambient occlusion in case you are using screen space and not lumen. So you have details um, working also with something else that just base color. Here we have also the blend angle corrected normals, which is uh, what we, uh, what I use to add these detail normal on top of the plaster here. And basically that's all. That's just this red explaining shader. It adds realism to your scene, even though it's stylized, it worked really better and add that uh, and compensate that problem that we have with very explaining and smooth uh, transition here. It is not like this that it is working so that's pretty great